let's see if this actually made any difference. I wouldn't be surprised if it didn't. <coughs> Um, for one of them it worked really well. Yeah. So we pressed the uh, frets that weren't properly pressed in and then coloured them and put some tape on and now we're going to sand using the, um, the marker to visualise how it's going. leveling the frets. Now I'm going to mark them all again and then using these two files I'm going to shape the top so that they're nice and round again. Crowning the frets. Crowning the frets. And the leveling went pretty quickly. Yep. Uh, Quicker than I expected. Uh, so right over here it's a little bit flat. I don't know if you can catch that on the camera. I think so. The whole wall will be the size of this. Yeah. So next step. Next step, making the holes for all the electronics in the um, lid. So the we've, we've talked about uh, where everything is going. Yeah, at first I put the volume part all, all the way up here. That might be, get in the way of playing a bit. So we've moved it back to here, tone here, switch here, and then the input on the side here.
Finish the inlays. Finish the inlays. Um, we have to um, fix the pickup onto the neck. Yep, so we probably need to glue a couple more blocks to the side of the of the neck that will go inside the body. Yeah. So and that we can screw the pickups onto that. We need to cut out a, a hole for the pickup to slot into in the neck and also in the top of the the cigar box. Yep, yeah, that looks good. We need to oh, you want to make a sound hole in the top of the cigar box. So you had where is it? You've got that wheel that you wanted to use. To cover the, the sound hole and um, that's going to be sort of uh, inlaid into the top of the box but using that thin bit of wood. Yeah. Cool. Okay. But before all of that I shall be making my guitar. So uh, the next videos will be about that instead, and we'll come back to this in about three weeks' time. Yeah, hopefully by then I'll have uh, moved forwards on the inlays. Yeah. <laughs>